Yo guys, welcome back to All The Mods 7 with your boy here, Super Turtle Guys. Last episode, we set up this place with uh, a bunch of bees. And uh, yeah, we have these productive bees here. We got some tin, copper, iron, even got some gold and uh, the radioactive bees, which are basically uranium bees. Yeah, we've got quite a bit here. I did a few of these guys off camera just because this, the process was pretty simple to get these guys. I do need to finish this one up. Uh, but yeah, so... The whole point of today's episode is to continue from this. Yes, we are getting the raw materials here, the iron combs, which is what we really want now. Uh, don't worry, the, the copper combs are going to be very valuable when we start to build a lot more. Uh, but yeah, we, we need to be able to process these. And this is what I have done here. So this is a comb processing plant that powers itself. So this is the input. It goes here into the powered centrifuge here using the item pipes from pipes. Um, as you can see, it goes in here. We have all of these upgrade, the speed upgrades, uh, give a 20% decrease in time for the high, but then it boosts the uh, powered centrifuge, which we're using here. So this goes here, gets processed, uh, pulled out here, and then it tries to put the beeswax here into this combustion generator, which powers this. And then, uh, after, if it can't go into there, it goes into this furnace. And as you can see, we're doing raw iron. We're getting it process processed up into here. And the cool thing about this, uh, this ele small electrical furnace is if something can't be processed through here, it just kind of sends it through. It doesn't do anything with it. It's like, hey, we can't do anything. Uh, so just get it through. And then I have an output chest here on the front. Uh, so as you can see, we're getting a whole bunch of these the beeswax, which is uh, amazing because this is a great fuel source that we can use because um, I desperately need it in here. And in here, guys, I did some interior decorating. This is no longer our room. It's kind of an office. I haven't quite finished in here yet. We have an armor stand over here. We got some couches. We got some, some blinds over here. I made this look a little bit better. I might end up moving this kind of over into this area soon. Uh, but yeah, this is all of our storage. We have a nice bookshelf over here. Uh, we have our kitchen, a dining table that you can actually sit at and eat, which is really cool. Um, and then there the the blinds here. Here's our little kitchen. We got a sink here, so all of our water needs. Got our kind of refrigerator, a spice rack. Uh, yeah, that's full with potions. And then, oh, uh, the tool rack here. Uh, this is supposed to have, yeah, the knives are there. I updated the pack so they changed. We have our coffee, our brew coffee here. It's quite cool. We have our, our cabinets up top and then some counters down here. Here's where all of our uh, smelting takes place. And then up here, yep, I did change up the enchanting table just a little bit, made it look a little bit better. And then we also have some windows up here now so we can see out into the beautiful land and look at all the cool stuff. And then this is our bedroom, very simple, a little bit smaller than it was, but uh, pretty cool. I haven't decorated up here as much as I'd like, uh, but I have been focusing on it down here. As you can see, it's pretty cozy. So yeah, uh, we're going to be using the beeswax for f a, a great fuel source um, for us going forward because we have so many of it and yeah, it's amazing. And then the other cool thing is every time we process one of these honeycombs, we do get a little bit of honey as you can see and uh, the honey trickles down into here and is supposed to get filled uh, kind of brought over oh that's because it's full okay so even though you can't really see it this is full of honey uh it gets processed here the empty bottles get pushed back into here and so this thing essentially runs on itself we have overflowing amounts of honey at this point so this thing is 100 uh percent self-sufficient and it runs at a very very high speed um so i'm extremely happy about this we're going to be duplicating this underneath our b area So yeah, over here, right here by oops, ow, by the, uh, the 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 bees is where we have the collection system. So if I were to break, oh boy, that's the block I should have broke. Um, this block here, yep, this is the advanced oak beehive with our gold bees in it. Uh, so very cool. I do, I didn't realize I needed to fix that. 
But uh, yeah, so we need to go ahead and kind of uh, get a system going here. So what we're going to be doing is combining these two together. We're going to be working on the uranium first of all, uh, because we need to get into the bigger reactors. And uh, having a steady fuel source for the big reactors is very important. And I built this in the wrong spot. And so to get the, uh, the radioactive bees, what you have to go ahead and do is create a creeper bee. And to make this guy, all you need to do is take a normal bee like that and right click it with TNT and it get, gives you that one. And then to get the radioactive bee, uh, you just combine that with an iron bee and then you're good to go. And don't worry, he's not vicious, he doesn't explode or anything. Well, he might if he's angry, but this guy's cool. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and need, we're going to need a few things. I'm going to go ahead and need it. We already need it. Um, so we're going to get probably a stack of these item pipes here. Yeah, that should be good. Let's go ahead and get the wrench from the mod. Oh, I've already got them. Perfect. Okay, don't need to worry about that. Um, so we're good there. The small electrical furnace. We do need a couple more of these metal bars. Um, so we are going to make a couple stacks of these. That should be fine. Probably more than fine. Uh, and then we need... Yeah, we're going to go two for an eye for this. And then we should be able to make that no sweat. Oh, we are out of the hopper. Okay, so there we go. Two a small laboratory or small laboratory for an eye. And then if we go like this, bam, that guy's good. Bam, that guy's good. So we're good with the fern this is or the fern eye. Um now we need some blocks of coal. Ooh. Uh I guess I need to go mining here real quick. Okay. All right, a brief mining trip later, and we can go ahead and get some coal blocks made and make a couple of these. Okay, so we got 20 of those. Amazing. All right, we should... Oh, we're out of the redstone torch. Perfect. One, two. Yeah, we'll do nine of those because we can. Okay. So one, two. There we go. Um, and then I believe I already have the productive bees uh, power set for you. Perfect. Okay. So let's go ahead and get this thing set up. I'm pretty sure that's all that we need. Oh, wait, we need the honey generator. Um, yes, this guy, we need two of these. Uh, and the best way to get this is to do this. Bam. We're out of the bucket. Okay, so those are good to go. We just need a total of two of these. Yes, we're out of that. Okay, now we have everything we need. All right, so we got our elevator block here now. Very cool. So we're underneath this. Okay, so what we need to do is get the honey out of the beehive. Oh, beehive, and come down here like so. Uh, if we go ahead and click that with a my friend the wrench, bam, pulling it out, bam, pulling it out. Yes, okay. So we got the radioactive combs there. As soon as these things have power, we'll be set. Um, we'll worry about that in a second, but, uh, yep, the honey generators are going to be here. Uh, we need to work on, we need to have it go directly down into something. I, oh, I think we need a bottler as well. I think that's one thing I forgot. Hang on, what bee is that? Is that a different? Oh, okay. Zombie bee's back in there. That's not too exciting. I found a skeletal bee over there. Okay, we've got our two bottlers here. Okay, so I found the best way for these guys to work is to simply just go right underneath. Um, so honey gets processed into here. What we can go ahead and do is take one piece of honey like this, put it in, kind of get a little bit of energy going. Um, as you can see, one bottle really goes far. Yeah, that was 5,000. Uh, but yeah, so we got honey going into here. All right, so we take the glass bottle, put the glass bottle here, and as soon as it fills up all the way with honey, that will 
Yes, okay. So what we need to go ahead and do is do one of these to pull the glass bottle out. Uh, and then we're going to kind of sneak one up and over like this. And we'll disconnect it from the other pipes here. Oh, no. Like this. All right, so we're pulling out of here for the glass bottle and going back in. Perfection. Okay, this is already working properly. Um, yeah, so as soon as it's getting honey, it's going into here, as you can see. Boom. Bottle goes into here. And then as soon as we have enough, okay, it bottles up, goes into here. Yep, and is returned. So a total of eight bottles there. Perfect. That's working. I'm going to go ahead and do it on this side as well. Okay, so both of these guys are good to go. If we look here, they're both basically running on themselves already. Um, yeah, this should be filling up with honey. It will do it kind of slow at first, uh, but eventually it does catch up. And so however many we get from this guy, bam, it goes in. Now, the reason why we have 64 here and only 18 here is because we have a full set of five radioactive bees up here, and we only have two in here. Uh, so that is something we really need to, to finish out to get the other four. Uh, but now we're going to be, be able to produce stupid amounts of power with the uranium. So what we need to go ahead and do is pull that out. Um, and so to do that, we're going to go out by one. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. And I think we're going to put the combustion generators in the front. And then we'll go down like this. Um, okay, so then we're going to snake it back. It, don't Trust me, it, I mean, it, it's going to look a little odd until we get it figured out. But I do think it'll look good. And work properly, which is all I care about. So then back here... And then we're going to go down. Okay. And so then we can run a power cable straight down from here into there. And uh, we need to get rid of this guy. And uh, this guy. And then we can pull out here. Out here. Perfect. Okay, so these should be getting... Yes, the beeswax is going in there. It's going in there. Amazing. Okay, so yep, we got uranium dust in both of these. As soon as it's got power, we'll be able to get those to go through. No problem. And then after that, we take the cables like this. And we put an output chest here in the middle. And all of our uranium will be processed up there. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and make a power cable and get a chest. Okay, so we've got all of those cables here. So all we need to do is one of those and one of these. So now it has power. Should... Um, how do you get the power? I forget. Does the power have to go up top? Let me check. I think the power may need to be on top. Okay, so we might need to do a little bit of reconfiguring, but I think I think we can get it. Um, yeah, okay, so I'm gonna actually flip the sides here so all of this um, will be on the on the inside here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick. I'll be right back. Okay, so we've got the bottling system kind of going back on back on track here. Oh, that's not supposed to be there. <laughs> Maybe we have it going on a little bit. I'm not I'm not sure. Um Okay. 
Yes. Okay. Now it's back on track. That was really weird for a second. Okay. So the output needs to be over here so that we can take these small energy guys and put them directly underneath the combustion generator. So if we're looking at this again, this part here is still the same. It pulls out of the honey generator, puts back in, and then goes up and over and at, at the top over here on this honey generator so that the bottles the bottles go into the top and get pushed back out into the bottle or down below. Okay, so this is all working now. We have the combustion generator here. Now this part isn't set up, so eventually it's gonna go out. But as you can see, this part is already working. We're getting the uranium nuggets out of it, or ingots, sorry. Uh, so all we gotta do is just go to the max setting <clears throat> okay and so for this part boom 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 right uh, we just need to do this it'll go with whatever's first in line uh, so this part is super easy to do uh, yep as you can see uranium dust already going in there should be having a bunch of wax now hmm I think I actually want to take this out because I want a buffer chest for all of the wax because I, I don't want it to be without. Um, so what actually I'm gonna do is run back here and hit slash home because someone told me in the comments to do slash set uh, underscore home and it did this. So uh, I highly recommend you all do that as well. Um, so let's grab another, we got, we, got, we got a couple of diamond chests that we can do this on, so slash back. And that's much faster than running uh, back here every time. So what we can do is put one here uh, and then do this. So we break those off, break these off, and have that do this. Um, what if, what about doing that? It's got two there. Let's, let's put some combs in there. Okay, so the beeswax is still making its way in. So the thing we're going to have to go ahead and do is blacklist it from going in the bottom one uh, by getting an advanced pipe upgrade. Um, so if we look here at upgrades, let me see. We need to go ahead and remove them from my pipes here. Um, which I believe was this guy. Yep, we got one back. Good. And then I believe, nope, not with this one. Was it with you? Yes, that's the one we want. Okay, so hopefully, yeah, I do, I do have enough redstone for this. We are running low on the redstone. Okay, so we're going to upgrade up to this guy. And this will allow us to blacklist the, um, the beeswax from going in there. So slash back. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and click this here, put it in. I'm going to grab that beeswax, and we are going to blacklist it with this here. Bam. So that will not allow it to go through the chest. And unfortunately, the only one that does the blacklist filtering is, in fact, the diamond here. So that look, it, it already memorized this. So none of the beeswax will be able to get there. Now, when this does fill up, it will kind of break the system. Um, but hopefully, we'll have a system... That we'll be pulling a bunch of beeswax out of this, going to the other one. So we probably, well, we should be okay. Um, but right now, these are both doing fantastic. We've got 11 of those. So now what we're going to go ahead and do is uh, put this here, put this here. We're going to make sure this doesn't connect. Yep, there we go. Like so. And I don't like the look of it being on the back, but I do like the look of it being in the front. So then, bing, bang. And there we go. So now we have uranium ingots 100% being automated. Um, so the only thing we got to do now is breed up some bees. Um, so a very cool thing that we can do is we can actually finish up breeding the bees and actually grow them 
to their full size so that they are going. But let's go sleep real quick. Oh, look at this. Now all of them are out. Okay. So, bam, bam. Those guys grow a little baby. Okay, where are you? There you is. Got him. Perfect. All right, so we go... Well, let's go ahead and let him out. Come here, you. He's just going to chill because he's getting flowers. Okay, so we will let him grow to an adult. We got 10 seconds. Okay, and boom, look at that. He's all grown up. Cool. So we can go ahead, take him, put him in here, close this. Now we need two more of these bees. Uh, have you two? Perfect. Okay. So we lay this guy down and we grow him up as well. Whoops. There he is. Oh. All right, there we go. We got our next big guy. Bam, he's in here. Now if we go like this and like this. Got the little one. Where'd he go? There we go. All right, and he's out. Come here, little guy. Little guy. <gasps> no, little guy! Boop. Perfect. All right, that is our fifth guy. Uh, so we should be good to go. All of the bees should be grown let's see here yep he's in here we got three out and about yep we have a full set of 10 radioactive bees amazing okay so we got those things set up but i want to go ahead and take a look at a few of the upgrades that we can do and maybe ones that we can go ahead and knock out for today um Output of the bees in this hive increases the production output of these bees in the hive by 39%. Multiple upgrades can be installed for greater increase. Okay, this seems like our best friend. Now, I, it's funny. I originally thought this made it faster, but it turns out it's this one. It says upgrade speed, uh, and this one's upgrade productivity. I kind of should have read, but I kind of didn't, so don't hold me uh, to... Yeah, don't worry about it. So we're going to go ahead and create a few of the uh, honey blocks here. And we're just going to go through it like this. Uh, I would like to hopefully have at least two of the upgrades for each of those. Uh, so that means we need a total of 16 of these. Okay, so we're out of the honey there. I, I, we do have our normal bees over here that have been producing like mad. I've also went ahead and put the stairs here and got these guys bred up. So we got three bees here, three bees here, and three bees here as well. Why hasn't this clicked yet? Uh, I might need to reset it. Yeah, okay. So that was quite a bummer. This thing got stuck, so it hasn't been producing any, any honey for for us um shoot i believe i believe we have some here yes yeah, so i'm gonna go ahead and take 16 here because we can go ahead and make another four uh which is the perfect amount for us oh we're short by one are you kidding me okay so there we go i got those so we should be able to make Total of four, so two each. Oh, man. That's kind of crazy. Now, we need this thing here. Ooh, I'm out of emeralds. Dang it. We could make an emerald bee. 
<laughs> we need a diamond bee. We got a slimy bee. We need a diamond bee. And we need another bee, which means we need to go to the end. Uh, and we need to create an end stone nest. Um, okay, so I do have one here that we can go ahead and use. Um, let's go check out a village and see if we can find a villager that will trade something that we produce a lot of. Dudes, check it out. So I found, I found a villager that trades saplings. And yeah, I like this guy. Can I can I take you in a bee cage? <laughs> oh, I need this guy. Okay, but this thing is pretty far away. Now I am using the uh, the journey map teleport system. So here, that's how I've been using it. Um, so I've been getting around a couple of villages, checking out. And yeah, so so far this is my favorite village because we have not only. Uh, this florist, which we can trade, and I believe this is really the guy we want. Um, but we also have this guy that trades saplings, and oak saplings are so easy to get in this mod pack. So I might, I might actually try to come in back and like steal them. Um, but yeah, so let's go ahead. Oh, yeah, okay, we're good. And we do have ten emeralds from all of those guys, so very happy about that. We can go ahead and make two of the upgrade bases. Um, we need more than that, I just realized. And we're out of honey. Okay, time to go to sleep. I need to go back to that villager and trade some more stuff with him, because he's cool. Okay, guys, so just kind of had a little issue with the world. Uh, I came over here to fill up, or to actually grab... Oh, wait a sec, did we just crash again? What the... Okay, we're good. So it did that before when I was right here and never let me load in again. And then I ended up, I think, getting killed by a zombie or something like that. But anyway, we're good now. Really terrifying. Thought I was going to have to go back to a, 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 a like an earlier backup. Uh, so I'll be making a backup after this video. So just in case we're, we're okay. Uh, but yes, now we can go ahead and create these upgrades here. Um, we just need, uh, one more, uh, might need one more of these. Okay. We needed the, uh, the treats. Okay. And the final step there. Oh, not really the final step, but now the final step here. What do we, oh yeah. It doesn't like to use the zombie combs for some reason. Okay. There we go. So we have these guys all made up, which is so cool. We get to do cool things. And it should help the productivity of the beehives, from what it sounds like. It should have, like, have them spend less time in here. So two of those. So 39 plus 39 equals uh, 177,000. You know, that's how math works. Right, so I'll add these in here. We're going to sleep real quick. All right. And then we're going to wait for the bees to come out of there. Um, yeah, so we're at, what, 78% here. Um, it says increase the production output of bees in this hive by 39%. I don't know if that means they make more of the combs, which is exactly what we want. Um, let's, let's have a, a look-see here. That looks great. Oh, we're already at over two stacks. Holy cow. Okay. Um, yeah, so, I mean, it's automatic, f uh, fuel for our reactor once we make it. Um, but yeah, we have automated uranium, which is crazy. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. We got a whole... Holy cow! Over ha that was over sixty-four combs, and that, and they're moving. Like, look at that. We've already got uh, over a stack of the beeswax stored up here. Oh my goodness, guys! This is an amazing system. If you guys uh, want a more detailed version of this, let me know. Join the Discord server. Send me a message. 
uh, and let me know. But that's going to go ahead and wrap up the episode for today, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you all again so much for watching. I love your guys' faces. We're going to be doing a lot more of these videos, pumping them out. Uh, so I will see you all in the next one. You have a fantastic day. Take care. Peace out. Bye-bye.